there is some worry that the trade war is responsible for what we're seeing in manufacturing and in global, uh, the global slowdown. You wrote a book with a very loaded title. Did we need to do this? When it's all said and done, will it be worth it if we, if we get some concessions from China? Well, I think one of the challenges right now is that the tariffs are looked at as per, uh, temporary. So if we really want to get investment in the United States to bring back manufacturing, they actually need to be made permanent because China's not an open market, number one. Number two, we have, through the Defense Production Act and Title III, a lot of authorities in the Defense Department to use some of the $800 billion we spend a year on re, uh, re-industrializing the United States. So part of the national security strategy is really about, you know, fostering manufacturing growth in the United States. We haven't started to do that. Well, what, my question was, do we do near-term pain for long-term gain? Should we... In 2020, November you know, is coming up. I don't know whether the president has looked at the calendar, but is this the great time, is this the great time to be doing this, uh, Jeb? Well, if the president isn't running on a great economy, he's going to have a real challenge. And so I think a lot of people give the president credit with the Tax Cut and Jobs Act, what we were able to do to take off some of the rough edges of Dodd-Frank. As you know, we got near 3% uh, GDP growth, but then you had the big wet blanket of a potential global trade war put on top of this. And so the question is, number one, um, you know, are the tariffs ultimately an ends or are they a, a means? It is a high risk, high reward strategy that the president's engaged upon. And we still don't know how it's going to come out uh, as of yet. I would say particularly now with the impeachment charges, the president can probably believes he cannot afford to look weak whatsoever. And my guess is also that in the short term, the winner is Senator Warren, because in some respects, both Biden and the president uh, have been soiled by this. And so the Chinese have to be looking at Senator Warren and say, are we going to get a better deal here than we're going to get with President Trump? And if so, maybe they do want to come to the table. But my own personal prediction is we're going to see a little bit more of this roller coaster. We're still too far out from the election uh, for them to finally come to some, some resolution. Can we ever regain the lost ground for China? We absolutely can. You know, one of the problems you have, you have hundreds of billions of dollars, especially with MSCI All World Index going to 20% on Chinese equities. So you have $400 billion going into China. That money could actually be going into the United States where productivity is higher, where resource allocation actually is done on a market basis, not on a, you know, state-controlled uh, government basis. And I think if we do that, we do those things, we start focusing on rebuilding manufacturing in the United States. We lost over 70,000 factories and 13 million jobs when China entered the WTO. So we can actually grow our economy, but we have to invest in America, sending, you know, by the way, Fifth Federal Thrift Savings Board, the board that handled my 401k when I was on active duty, next year is going to send 20% of their assets to China. So military members are going to be funding the companies to build the weapons that they may face one day. So this is a big challenge for our country. We ought to think about it more than just on the short-term trade war. What do you, uh, when you're at UBS, you go to meetings and stuff about uh, strategies and, and what their view on, on the, uh, the global economy is? Jeff, can you bring us some insight to what, what you brought well, The short answer is no, you, because you know? the, the honest answer is for four months, I've cordoned myself in my office to study for securities licensing <laughs> exams. So in many respects. Do you I, think, the, are we uh, on the cusp of, of a significant slowdown globally, or, or not even globally, in this country, are we on the cusp of a significant slowdown? Uh, that, that is not the UBS House view at the moment. Uh, so we still see positive economic uh, growth. Uh, we do not believe that, um, uh, well, we believe that probably there's about a 50% chance that the threatened tariffs that will take place on October 15th will happen, maybe a 30% chance they get worse, maybe a 20% chance uh, that they actually get better. But uh, I think the House view is that we still see very strong consumer spending uh, at the moment. And personally, just speaking for myself, um, you know, when we have a a trade war taking place, I wasn't surprised by the manufacturing number. So the market, and particularly, again, when we look at the size of manufacturing within our economy, uh, it'll be interesting to see if markets will end up. Jeb, is USMCA getting done? 
this year? I, I, I don't believe so. They won't do it. You know how that how the House operates. You know, Speaker. Well, it, it, in, impeachment has unleashed something that nobody knows where it's headed. But I do know this. Whatever it is, it sucks all the oxygen out of the room.